Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to do the schema validation in the Next.js with the help of the ZOD. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that. So first of all, let's take an example. So here we have the tutorial. So let me open the link. So here you can see that I do something wrong in that and I just do with login. So what it say? I will add like this. I put login. Okay, let's do this one. So here you can see that login failed, not found. This is different one. Okay, I'm, I'm doing something like this. Then what will happen? Password must be at least six character long. Okay, and suppose I left with this one. Okay, then what will happen? Invalid email address. Password must be at least six character long. Okay, so both, inval both are wrong. So this is the schema validation that we are using. Okay, so let's check how we have implemented this. Let's dive into the code level. So here we have the full fledged code. So first of all, we have to use client for because we are working on the client side. React, use ref. Okay. And this is the different thing that the toast that I have added. If you want to add, you can add. Otherwise, I will make a new video for that. How to integrate the toast like this. Okay. So now we are using the use router. Next navigation, login schema. Okay. And here we have the full fledged component that is home. So by default, we have do the empty states, email and the password. After that, we are uh, declaring the use router and the form ref. Okay, so here when you click on the handle change event, so whenever we put anything in the input field, so here we are setting the state, okay, with the name and the value. Okay, now when we do the handle submit, so this function will call. So first we do the login schema with the help of this. So here we have the login schema. So here we are mentioning the ZOD object with email and the password, right? So here we go with the form data is different one. So I have created a schema.js file where we have to define the schema. So this is very important because we are doing the Zod schema validation with the next year. So this is very important. So email should be like um, same format. If it is something went wrong, it will show me the email invalid email address, which I have already show you right and the password. If it is not minimum, then password should be minimum at least six character long. If the password is empty, it will say that the password is empty. Okay. So this is the schema validation, which I'm going to use into our main file that is page.js. So here we have a login schema dot save parts form data, whatever the form data I'm going to send it over here. Okay. If the parse data is not a success, okay, it's not going to be success. Then we are showing the errors toast dot error dot join with comma. And top center, auto close, hide progress bar, close click, pause on hover, draggable. This all is are the toast. Okay. Toast functions. So toast, whatever the we have to send in that variables, you have to send like weather position. So this is a toast part, right? Okay. This will do the schema validation part. Okay. If everything is goes right, then we will fetch the API for the login and uh, just show that the login successful and router dot push that redirect to the home page or the dashboard otherwise we will say that the login failed with the response dot status okay and this is the full fledged form with the input field on change and the value okay and uh, here we have the form submit that is handle submit so here you can see that we have a handle submit function already okay so reference is form reference Right, another form, other input field that is the password. So the value and the on change and it is required. Okay, and the button on some there, there is a login. So when I click on the login, so rest of the functionality and the form is submit on that note. Okay, and this is a toast container where we are sh showing the toast messages like this. Okay, so this is how you are able to do the schema validation in the next years. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.